Well, good morning, everyone. How are you doing? Uh, I hope everybody is doing good this morning. Um, I know that uh, uh, it's 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 a great morning, man. It feels really good outside, and uh, I love this time of year. And uh, I know that uh, some of you are going to be watching on playback, and some of you are watching live. I see some of you jumping on now, so we're so glad that you're... Uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you're a, a part of this wherever you are. And so it's good to see all of you. I hope you're having an awesome, awesome morning. I uh, got my coffee here. Come on, we're ready to go. Um, we, we, I need, I need coffee in the morning. Amen. And uh, so all of y'all are jumping on. And uh, Shaniqua, happy belated birthday. You had a birthday yesterday, so happy birthday. Uh, or so, uh, I hope you had an awesome day, and so I see all y'all. Uh, all right, it's good to see all of you. Hey, it's 7 at 7. We've got some great things happening at One Church, and so, um, you know, uh, obviously, we are a big proponents of, and you hear it all the time, and I think people kind of get tired of hearing it, but we are always telling people, get in a community group, amen, and we love community groups because we believe that life change happens when we come together and we actually get to show people who we are, and so I would encourage you, uh, uh, get in a, a, a community group, go on uh, online to imonechurch.com slash groups, uh, browse that, uh, that section. It's only a five week semester leading up to Thanksgiving. So it doesn't get into the holidays. So it's a great time to jump into a, a, a group cause you can do anything for five weeks. And so, uh, and really see what it's like to, to be a part of that. And then, uh, and, and so I would really encourage you to do that. And, uh, you know, I, I, I just, I feel like that, um, uh, there's a lot going on. And so I, and I was, I was, uh, getting ready for this, uh, this morning and uh, I feel like um, I had major deja vu. Anybody ever have that? And uh, so, so if I'm if I'm sharing something that I've already shared, I apologize. But you need it because uh, I I know that I need it. Um, and so I'm just going to talk to you uh, today about putting on love. Uh, it's something that is so important for us as Christians to do, uh, especially in the climate that we're in right now. Come on, we're we're in a uh, season of election season and everything is extremely heated and and then on top of that we've got all these other things that are happening and uh, it, it amazes me honestly I've kind of pulled off of social media because I, I, I it honestly sometimes saddens me uh, to see how people uh, treat each other and um, I think it's just you know what I mean it's just a really sad thing and I think we need to be reminded as Christians who we are uh, you know, we are Christians, uh, and, and as Christians, we love people, and we take care of people, uh, and, and we believe in people, and, and above anything else, you know, I tell people, you know, well, are you Republican, or are you Democrat? I'm a Christian, uh, and so I, I'm, I, above anything, I'm a Christian. I, I love God, and I love people, and so I think we'd be a lot better off if, if all of us would remember that every single day we need to put on love. First Corinthians 12, 26 says, says this, and if one member suffers, all the members suffer. He's talking about we are the body of Christ, right? Uh, all the members suffer with it. Or if one member is honored, all members rejoice with it. Meaning this, that if 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 we if if one part is suffering, then we man we should build that part up. We should we should lift them up. If one part is honored, man, we should rejoice. That's what we do as a church, and and that's another reason why we push groups is because you need people to to uh, to come alongside you when you're suffering, and you need people to come alongside you when you're celebrating, and because uh, you you need people in all seasons of life, and 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 I love this, and I was reading this actually this morning in my in my personal devotion, uh, and that's why I'm bringing it to you, Colossians three. 14 through 17. Uh, but it says, but above all these things, put on love. Above everything else that I've talked about before this, above everything else, I want you to do this. I want you to put on love, which is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts to which also you were called in one body. Here we go again. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God 
uh, the Father through Him. Man, and everything, no matter what else you do, put on love. You know, we live in Texas, uh, and right now we are in a se- uh, season where you have to dress for three different seasons. Uh, come on, I, I don't know about you, but it's like, uh, I in the morning I walk out, and it's 50 degrees, and I'm like, okay, it's definitely time for a hoodie. Uh, and so I put on a hoodie, but I also realized that the heat's coming. Come on, because yesterday it was like 88 degrees, 89 degrees. It goes from 49 to 89. And, uh, and so, you you know, I, so I have a T-shirt on underneath my hoodie, uh, which kind of gets me hot in the office. But, you know, it's cold outside. So I, I, you have an address for all the – and then in the evening, it's just cool enough for a light jacket. So uh, you don't really need a, a hoodie because it's just in the 60s, so just a light jacket. So you got to dress for three seasons. And I began to think about this when the Bible says this, to put on love. And, uh, and I, I began to think about in every season, as Christians, we need to remember this, that we put on love. We put on love in every season. It doesn't change. Uh, we are always, every in every season, in, in, the, in a, a political climate, uh, it doesn't matter in, in uh, uh, you know, a, a climate where things are going crazy. We always put on love. So remember this, that whenever you're dressing for the day, put on love in what you do. You know, uh, and I'll, I'll give you three things really quick. Three things that you need to remember. Uh, the first thing is dress for where you're going, not where you are. Uh, dress for where you're going, not where you are. Uh, some of us, come on, we're, we 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 got to remember. We get in this mental space where we think, man, I you got to remember where I'm going. Man, I am I am being transformed in Christ from glory to glory. My son, the other day, he uh, I, yesterday, in fact, uh, he was getting ready. Uh, he we were getting ready to go to school, and I and I walked out, and he's got a t-shirt on. Uh, he's got it. He's got his just a, a polo shirt on, and I said, "Son, it's forty nine degrees outside. What are you doing? Like, you you need to put on something warm, you, or else you're going to be cold." And um, and he goes, "No, Dad, you don't understand. I've already checked the weather, and the weather says." that it's going to be 76 degrees when I get to go to recess. I'm going to be in in class all day. It was 76 degrees uh, whenever I get to go to recess. So I'm dressing for my recess that's coming. And, and, I, and I thought, man, you know, that's the truth, is we need to dress for where we're going. We need to remember where we're going. And where we're going is we're going up. We're always becoming a new creation in Christ. And, and so we need to dress for where we're going, not where we are. We need to remember who we are and uh, and who we are in Christ. The other thing I would tell you is this, dress yourself, not others. Uh, you know, I, I that, that kind of brings me to this, is that I, I'm trying to tell him what to wear, and the, and the truth is, is I don't know where he's going. So dress yourself, not others. Don't worry about what everybody else is wearing. Don't whatever, worry about what everybody else has on. At the end of the day, you put on love. Don't worry if your coworker puts on love. Don't matter. It doesn't matter if your boss puts on love. Uh, it doesn't matter what's going on. You you put on what you're supposed to put on because at the end of the day, you're responsible for you, not for others. Uh, God is going to hold you accountable for you, not others. Right? We're going to be accountable for what we say, not what others say. So I would tell you this: dress yourself, not others. Look at yourself and say, okay, am I am I dressing myself correctly? And and honestly, it gets really hard, uh, and you want to tell other people, hey, I think you should do this, 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 and this, and the truth is is that you cannot do that. You have to be a person that just dresses yourself. A lot of times, man, when we dress ourselves, people are watching. When we put on love at the end of the day and we love people where they are, man, they notice that more than anything. Uh, and so dress yourself and not others. The the other thing, the last thing I'll tell you is this, is compliment more than you criticize. Compliment more than you criticize. Um, you know, you got to love people. You just got to love people. Uh, you you got to be a, a fan of people at the end of the day. Compliment, uh, I can guarantee you that you're going to walk into work today or, or you're going to go into the grocery store or you're going to be somewhere. And there are, and along the way, you're going to pass people that have a, a lot of different views than you um, and you, that are wearing 
a lot of different things that you're not wearing. And when I say that, they're wearing anger. Come on, they're wearing uh, depression. They're wearing all of these different things. And we have to be complimentary. Uh, we got to compliment people more than we criticize people. We got to, you know, you, you see the good in people uh, and and just, just build people up because you have no idea. This season has been so hard on so many people. And it continues to be a really hard season for a lot of people. And so I think that we need to just compliment people. Uh, you know, just, man, just find the good in people. Uh, find ways that you can compliment people. Some to some people are a lot harder to compliment than others. Uh, but find uh, find the good in people and begin to compliment them. At the end of the day, put on love. Just put on love. Just remember uh, that that I and you, and when you you're not perfect and when you mess up and when you burst out in anger, that's okay. Just remember uh, where you're going. That this is I'm not going. I'm, this is not where this is where I'm at. But this is not where I'm going. And I think that when we're quick to say, God, forgive me for that. Uh, forgive me for that outburst. I messed up. I made a mistake. Man, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. And, uh, and, and our mistakes, honestly. And, and I think this, just remind yourself today as you're getting dressed to put on love. And uh, especially in today's climate, we really need to be people. We need to be Christians more than we are anything. And we need to put on love above everything else. And, and so we love you. So I hope you got something out of this. If you did, like it, share it, uh, send it to somebody. Get in a group, imonechurch.com slash groups. Be sure to get into a group. And uh, and obviously, you know, if you ha if you need anything, please reach out to us. We want to pray with you. But I'm going to show you and pray for you uh, But as you get your day started. Lord, right now, thank you for every person that's tuning in, watching right now live, and that's watching by playback. Lord, right now, I pray that your blessing be upon them, Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Uh, may everything that you put your hands to prosper, Lord. I pray the blessings of God on their life, Lord. I pray for protection over each and every person, uh, Lord. Keep them safe, Lord. Lord, I pray right now, Lord, that we would remember who we are. We are Christians above everything else, and Lord, that we would be uh, people that put on love. Lord, I pray that you would send people uh, into our path today to encourage, to love, to care for, uh, and Lord, that we would go out uh, today on assignment, Lord, realizing that we are Christians, that we are a light in the darkness, that we're a city that's set on a hill that cannot be hidden, Lord, that we will love people uh, like you have loved us. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Hey, we love you so much. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching the playback. We're honored to have you each and every uh, Wednesday, 7 at 7 in, uh, 7 in the morning. We do this, and so uh, we love you. Have an awesome rest of your week. It's going to be a great day.